now time for our monthly Woodlawn Health Report with uh, Brad and Krista. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Been having some interesting conversations off the air, but now it's time to talk about Woodlawn. Now that we've got the world fixed, right? Yes. Now that we've got the world fixed. We're just not going to tell you. That's right. That's right. We're not going to tell everybody <laughs> the solutions. Um, had our board meeting yesterday, so just kind of give you guys an update on a few things going on uh, from the financial side. Uh, much better month in uh, um, March than we had in February. Um, overall, we ended up with about a $3,500 loss from operations. So again, operational loss means those things that happen within the four walls of the hospital, you know, those day-to-day -day services, um, and that's really good, particularly with the fact that March is traditionally a very um, high number of vacations month yeah. with spring breaks and such. Yep. So we often have a lot of providers and a lot of other staff out. And so that was a very positive month for us overall. Um, what that led to was a net income after all of those other non-operational revenues of about $361,000 for the month of March. So most of that being due to ancillary uh, revenue exceeding our budget. So. Things like your imaging department, your surgical department, those kinds of things. Things that are more outpatient based. Okay. So good month overall. Um, staff is doing an amazing job at maintaining an, uh, the overall cost for doing the businesses, you know, our overhead, keeping that stuff down. And um, it really was a great month for us overall. Um, one other thing we, we kind of talked about, and this was just not related to our board meeting, but overall here in the last month, uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, partner with the state of Indiana and receive some grant money for an infant security system. Mm. So our OB department that just got a little bit of a refresh is now going to get a little bit of a technological update. So we are going to have here in the next few months an installation of a proximity system for the babies where they'll have the ankle tags or the umbilical tags or the wrist tag depending on the particular situation and that will give real time data to their location throughout the department. So just one more way of us making sure that the communities feel safe okay. and keep taking care of those little ones. Um, we had a great meeting last week with CMS um, and we ended up being CMS and, and also HRSA, which is the um, health uh, rural uh, division of the federal government. Um, normally when you have an outside entity that's three letters come in, you're worried, right? Yeah. yeah. And so those acronyms, you know, they, they normally scare everybody, but this was a, a social call, so to speak, and they wanted to just talk to us about our hospital and, and uh, rural community health care and, you know, what we're doing in our OB department and really just to kind of chat and find out, hey, how are you guys doing? What are some of the things that you guys could, could use help with from a federal level? Um, and then we also were fortunate enough at that same time to have a couple in the Indian Department of uh, um, health employees come to so they brought a team of about four people and we got a chance to spend a couple hours with them and, and just teach them a little bit about who we are at Woodlawn Health um, show them the hospital let them know some of our challenges and, and things that make us different at being an independently owned community hospital so that was really a, a pleasure and, and really thank those individuals for coming in hey Brad, and checking us out. Can you tell them what CMS is? That's something. Yeah CMS is the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services so it is the governing body of, for all of those individuals who have an um, insurance plan that is um, through the federal government and then subsequently the Medicaid state government. Okay. So they don't operate the state government's, uh, the Medicaid program's funding mechanism necessarily, but they do provide a lot of the regulatory um, you know, rules and such on how we provide the care and uh, those kinds of things. So, um, and then Medicare, of course, being one of the largest payers in the country. Um, that is who CMS is uh, primarily in charge of, both financially and programmatically. Okay. A um, couple other things going on. Uh, we've worked really hard here in the last, I think it's been three or four months to bring in some new providers. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that all small communities struggle with is getting enough providers for the size of the community and then kind of the right mix of providers. Um, so we've listened and, and to our primary care doctors and we've listened to the community and we're bringing in four new providers here in the next two months, two and a half months. Um, Dr. Eric Renlisbacher has been hired by Woodlawn Hospital or Woodlawn Health. He is going to be a podiatrist that's going to be working over at the uh, Schaefer Medical Center. 
um, in that location. Uh, Dr. Laurel Walton, she is an OBGYN who will be coming to uh, Woodlawn Medical Professionals on the second floor there in the professional building. Um, and then we brought in uh, Carrie Pulley. Carrie Pulley is a family practice nurse practitioner, uh, born and bred in Akron, Indiana. Um, left and then spent some time out on the range there in Wyoming, <laughs> in, uh, 20 plus years. And we are so happy to have her rejoin this community and, and come back to town. So she'll be working out at Akron Medical Center starting in late May. And then uh, we brought on a physician assistant who is going to be working in the family practice area there with uh, Dr. Benefit in the Schaefer Medical Building. Okay. So busy month for Krista in the next <laughs> couple months because you know every time I go and hire somebody, she's got to market everything and yeah. get all that work done. So we like to keep her busy. Oh yeah. We yeah. just decided to jam it all into about a month. Yeah. So, yeah. but very exciting for the hospital and, and for the community. Um, you know, we haven't had a full-time podiatrist here in, I'm going to say, almost a decade. Okay. Uh, you know, Dr. Rogers served this community so wonderfully for years, um, and that was the last full-time podiatrist we had in the community. So uh, we kept hearing that from our primary care doctors and, and from patients that they're having to leave and, and drive, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour to find a podiatrist to take care of some of their foot and ankle needs. So um, we're happy to have Dr. Renlisbacher and, and bring him in here to Woodlawn Health. All right. Um, and then Krista's got just a couple things coming up with regards to some marketing and, and really some uh, nice events for the community. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to start off with Mother's Day is right around the corner, right? Yes. And as a mom, I'm not in, in this age bracket just yet. I'm getting super close. But we so forget to put ourselves first. We forget those, those yearly checkups and those exams. So this Mother's Day, um, if you are a mom, a grandma, or a mother figure, do remember that you know mammograms are a yearly thing that over age of 40 is paid for. It's a no-cost service to you, mostly. And it's important that you are um, getting those checks on a regular basis. And it's something that we're happy to help you with as well. Um, and for those who maybe aren't in that mother age or that mother figure state, just reminding those women that are important in your life to, to get those checkups. It's really easy um, for those who are caregiving to forget about themselves. So mm -hmm. um, the best thing you could do for the mom or the mom figure in your life is just to remind them to get those checks. And if you want to give us a call, we'd be happy to schedule that and work through that with you. The phone number is 574-224-1151 and we would love to have that. Um, fun fact, our golf outing for the foundation is coming up June 6th. Check out OneLawnHealth.org for more information. This is a great way um, for our foundation to raise some money to give back to the community and to give back to um, OB refreshes or getting that equipment that we need. Or um, <coughs> this year, one of the foundation's projects is cleaning up the walking trails on our campus, which so many of our community use. So a great cause that we're really happy to partner with our foundation on. And last but not least, this is um, a shout out to our clinical team who's gonna be doing this, but our sports physicals <clears throat> for this area is free of charge this year. Last year we did them and we charged a small fee. This year they're free. Um, and they're going to be on um, the Woodlawn Pediatrics area. And it's Tuesday, April 30th and Tuesday, May 7th from 5 to 6.30. Um, so please make sure you're there between 5 and 6.30. Um, I tell you, please don't come a little bit much earlier because we will still be seeing patients but we want to make sure to help um, all of our sports athletes so it's a first come first serve um, between those hours and we hope to see everybody there to help people get those physicals so kids can play sports so that is for this next school year just as an fyi so if you have a child in sports make sure to get the sports physicals and then last but not least um <clears throat> check out our, our website, womenonhealth.org. We also um, have a podcast. Our Doc Talk is a podcast now as well. Mm -hmm. So if um, you would type in Woodlawn Doc Talk, it will pop up. And that's a great way to keep track of our new doctors who are coming. They always, um, most of them all do podcasts for us, at least one or two. Um, and then just to keep um, tabs on health information throughout our community. We are really blessed to have lots of health experts. And because we have those, they're able to share lots of knowledge. Um, so our current, our last podcast, um, our nurse practitioner in the occupational health, she was able to do one on um, primary care and its role in occupational health. So that's really good if you're an employer, give that a listen, it's excellent. Um, and then also we are on social media, so check that out. And always know that we're trying to earn the right to care for you and our community. That's 
um, more than just a marketing slogan for us. That's kind of uh, a semi-mission statement, not our official mission statement, but definitely part of our mission statement. Or Absolutely, it's our goal each and every day. We want to figure out what we can do to, to better serve the community and you know the, whether it's trying to bring in new services that we haven't had here in years um, or it's just uh, getting out information about you know preventative and wellness things. Um, we're finally at the point, I believe, that, that through COVID, that we're back up to as close to normal as I think we'll probably ever get with people's behaviors when it comes to their health care again. Okay. So one of the things that, that most people during the last three years just didn't do were those things. Yeah, They skipped almost all preventative things. Uh, people didn't go to the dentist as often as they normally would have. They didn't get in and get their normal well check visits. They're just annual physicals. Um, whether it's uh, someone who needs to get their uh, prostate uh, PSA tests because they're at that age level or, uh, you know, colonoscopies, mammograms, all of those things. Those were things that people just immediately cut out because people just weren't going out into the community settings and right. healthcare settings. So um, it's time. It's time for all of us to get back to that point where we're getting those preventative things done. Um, they do save lives. Um, and they, they make the uh, ability of the providers to care for you um, so much easier when they can catch things early. So whatever that may be for you, you know, uh, 45 is the new 50, so I just did my colonoscopy, everyone. So I'm right there with everybody else. So it's important. We get those things caught early. We can deal with them quickly and, and much less aggressively. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. So And then the other thing is just, Hey, thank you. Thank you guys here in Woodlawn uh, and uh, Rochester and Fulton County for, for keeping Woodlawn Health, uh, you know, here and keeping us moving forward and, and supporting us in all the ways you guys do. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We greatly appreciate everything you guys are doing at Woodlawn Health. And uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to take a few minutes to uh, chat with us about what's going on. Absolutely, thank sure, you. Thank you. Look forward to uh, doing it again next month. We'll talk to we you guys. We will then. see you soon. Yeah. Right, thank you.